Okay, hello everyone, and if you're probably watching this on Thanksgiving, happy Thanksgiving. This is a little bit uh, early to say it because we're like a day, it's like, what, the uh, 25th, but uh, we are literally a day away from Thanksgiving. But anyway, uh, I haven't reacted to this. I, I wanted to cover more of Cyberpunk onto the channel since it will be the game I'll be introducing and uploading uh, in this uh, channel. So without further ado... This is PlayStation gameplay showing the PS4 Pro gameplay and PlayStation 5 gameplay. And uh, let's just watch it and I'll give my thoughts about this. <clears throat> With Cyberpunk 2077 launching on December 10th, we want to continue to give you a closer look at the game running on console. In this video, we're showing you footage from the very beginning of the game, following the Nomad okay. Okay. Life Path which is one of three you'll be able to pick from. The gameplay will start with PlayStation 4 Pro, and then we'll also show Already, you- Already, you could tell. So what I noticed with the uh, textures of the game when they show the PC and Xbox Series X um, is the uh, textures. They're more detailed here. They look a bit more, how could I describe it? They look, look a bit more plastic, or you could say the lighting is a, a bit off here compared to the uh, next-gen or um, PC build of it. So you can already tell that this game possibly may run okay. Uh, I think that I believe when it, when it comes to the base PS4 and PS4 Pro, it will run on the 30, 30 frames and, and below, like 25 to 30 at least, right? Um, hopefully nothing any more below, but I'm pretty sure this game will run okay when it comes to uh, current-gen consoles and next-gen. PlayStation 5 footage <clears throat> thanks to the console's backwards compatibility. Since going gold, the team at CD Projekt Red has continued to work on Cyberpunk, addressing bugs and glitches, and enhancing the gameplay and graphics, which will be distributed to all platforms as an update on launch day. And this is how we want you to experience the game. The gameplay you see today so already here we includes go. a great number More of driving fixes, gameplay as we work towards bringing the best possible experience on December 10th. So I like how also you're able to Finally, play first person, just remember that when Cyberpunk launches, third person, it will be compatible with both current and next-gen consoles. So if you'll be picking it up on PlayStation 4... So yeah, like, like I said, even though this says the PS4 Pro build, I still believe that literally with the P base PS4, it's still gonna look like this, okay? There's really no big difference, trust me when I say that. Um, I have owned both consoles myself. There is no big difference other than frame rate when it comes to PS4 Pro, but I'm pretty sure when it comes to this game, we're on the PS4 Pro, it's gonna be only running 30. I mean, right now, the video quality is only on 30. Maybe they did that purposely. I have no idea if we'll run 60 on PS4 Pro. I doubt it. Um, but it'll look the same. A lot of people were panicking that this game uh, won't run well on the current gen consoles, uh, the PS4 and the Xbox One, but I, I'm pretty sure it's going to look like this. Because there, if you own a PS4 Pro, there is no big drastic difference between the PS4 and PS4 Pro. Well, also there work really with isn't. PlayStation 5, and it's the same for Xbox. People put the PS4 Pro on such a big pedestal when it's not really like is that. Coming for free I know the PS4 ain't... The greatest, but PS4 isn't either. Electric coupling module. You said it was nothing serious when I came in. You said you were sure. It still looks nice too. You know, it runs sturdy. There's some motion blur here and there, but where they won't ask a lone nomad why he's but for someone who doesn't have the money for next gen or a PC. That's fine. Step aside. It looks what? good. Got any idea what to do? Hmm. Huh. I'm gonna bypass the coupling and rig a hot wire. So this is ready gameplay they already been showing for, uh... I think maybe it was one of their demo gameplays they showed throughout Anyone the summer. Your opinion? So I'm glad they're not, like, spoiling it. They're just showing it on, um... They're just re-showing it on different okay. platforms, which is good. I don't want to see too much of this game. If you watch my previous videos, I'm not trying to really learn about the lore or anything. I want to just dive in for myself once the game comes out next month. And it's actually coming out very, very soon, so I'm excited. 
Questions how long it'll last you. And I probably, if I like it a lot, I'll probably buy this game again on the PS5. Just to see how the ray tracing will run and all that, too. He, he did. I was just making sure. This really reminds you of Fallout, though. This whole desert here really reminds me of uh, New Vegas. Really does. Hey, you, uh, sure you like this game sometimes give me, gives me some Fallout vibes. I'm not gonna lie. Me? If you're armed, place your weapon here. See, already here, you can already tell how the lighting is off on the current gen. I mean, it looks like the gun is floating on the table, but it's really not. It's just because of the lighting, the textures, they ain't the greatest, but it is good for what it is, right? Now, please report to room number two. I'm thinking, what lifestyle should I pick in the beginning, though? What path? Should I pick the Nomad? Could start at the desert and go to the city? Because if I pick room one two. or the other two, I'm going to start straight from the city, I think. Hopefully, I'll still please be sit. able to travel around the desert. Whatever. I'm going to be replaying this game anyway, Papers. right? Is this routine? It might be. We'll see. Hmm. What are you transporting? It's all in there. You don't believe in the fate. Every day taking the break. Stepping up here with a stay. That is so nice, man. You don't believe in the fate. Can't stop digging nights. Stepping up here with a city like any other. It's bigger. Nah, my no. Not just any other city. Yeah, that still looks so detailed, man. It looks so good still. And they're able to make the rain look nice too. On oh, this is uh now this is PS5 backwards compatibility. So I don't I'm not sure if this is a next gen upgrade. I, I forgot what they said in the beginning. Or this is just what it is with just its raw power without the patch, the upgrade. Shit's going down. Like your average bust. This ain't your average badges. That's Max Tac. NCPD's apex predators. MTAC rolls in when things fly out of hand. Gunk's out there, though. Just a midday snack for him. Well, show's over. Poor bastards. But they had it coming. But yeah, like they really did a good job with the uh, rain. Looks something What's you would see in the movie. What's the deal with flipping us the finger as they fucking please? With no consequences! He took a risk. He assumed we didn't have a clan backing us. And he was right. <sighs> so what now? We've crossed the border. Now you pay me, and we go our separate ways. No way. Let's get out of Oh, here's the action. Scott! Fucking dry, Jackie. Come on, get down on my Can't keep her steady. Hold tight, B. That'll be funny if we didn't see someone get run over. Got you, asshole. B, aim for the driver. Yeah, you know, you'd think it would be smart to aim for the driver, not the shooter, right? <laughs> so that's it. I'm glad they didn't show too much. Nothing big. Um, so that was pretty much, like, when it comes to its uh, character customization, to how the textures look, how it will basically run on current gen. I really see no problems with it. I mean, even with the Witcher 3 series, uh, it ran pretty good for what it was. Even though it ran on 30, I still thought it was good. Um, I know once you guys see that pure 60 frames per second on the PS5 and or whatever console you have, or even on PC. Well, I mean, there's a reason why people have PCs. It's just so they won't deal with 30 frames. But 
for those who are new to consoles and those who are new seeing 60 frames and all that i know it's gonna be hard going back uh to 30 but like i said um this game still runs good for what it is same with the witcher 3 and obviously if C cd project can manage to do this i hope to see it on the switch like they did it for the witcher 3 why not for this game right oh my god that, that'll actually be so good but I don't really see that really happening, especially the how much stuff is going on in detail uh, with this uh, game. But I don't know. They managed with The Witcher 3, though. So never say never, right? But anyway, comment down below what you guys think. Remember to subscribe. Please subscribe. Um, I know a lot of you guys who watch my content are not subscribed, so please subscribe to the channel. Anything, uh, Any support to the channel is much appreciated. Please follow my Twitch as well. I stream on there like a variety of games. I'll actually start streaming again here on YouTube eventually as well. I don't know, maybe with this game or so. But uh, definitely uh, thank you for all the love and support for those who did subscribe or watch my videos and drop a like. Thank you so much. And I hope to see you guys in the future. Peace off and have a good day and happy Thanksgiving.